Hi everybody, this is a red, white, and blue arcane bombardment deck that wants to use the incubate mechanic to give us a little more advantage on top of all the extra spells we're casting. Now, I'm back from vacation, and it's super nice to come back to a whole new standard environment thanks to the recent bans that Wizards put out. We've lost Fable, Invoke Despair, and Reckoner Bankbuster, and while I don't quite know what that's going to do to the top decks just yet, I do know that we're going to be seeing a lot less Invoke Despair, which is one of the most common ways that our opponents get rid of our arcane bombardment. But anyway, let's take a quick look at this deck and see how it works. We've got a good mix of instants and sorceries on the low end here with Play With Fire, one of Soul Partition, just as kind of a catch-all. Really leaning into four copies of Sunder the Gateway gives us some nice flexibility to destroy artifacts and enchantments, or just freely incubate the tokens that we've been creating thus far. Then we've got two copies of Impulse to go looking for the things that we need, one copy of Negate to help protect our bombardment and possibly face off against some of the planeswalkers we might be seeing more of now, a few copies of Lightning Strike, which is always good, and then some Faithful Mending to also help with some of the card draw. We're running four copies of Chrome Host Seed Shark, one of the few permanents in this deck, but really takes advantage of all the other cards that we play, helps us to create more Incubate tokens, and helps feed Sunder the Gateway later on in the game. Then over here we've got two copies of Brotherhood's End, helps keep the board clear a little bit early on, and two Eyes of Getaxius. Eyes isn't that great, but it does incubate three and draws us a card, and sometimes what you need in a bombardment deck is a way to draw some extra cards because you can run into big pockets of land, and sometimes you don't have the right thing to do, so we're trying this out in here as well. On the four drops, we've got one Repel the Vile just for fun, see how it goes. A couple of copies of the Wandering Emperor to take care of anything we can't get with our early spells and provide us some extra token creation and to power up some of our tokens in the late game and create some extra samurai. And then we've got three copies of Big Score, classic arcane bombardment inclusion that lets us draw some extra cards and maybe boost out an early arcane bombardment. Over here in the fives, we've got one of my new favorite board wipes, Sunfall. This gets around shield tokens. This gets around annoying things that might want to come back from the graveyard over and over after we destroy them. Really solid include for us in this deck because it also incubates. And then we're running four Arcane Bombardment and one copy of Chandra in here. I didn't want to lean too heavily on the Planeswalkers since we were already running a couple of Wandering Emperors and a bunch of Chrome Host Seed Sharks as well. You can't have too many permanents, otherwise you don't have a consistent way to activate bombardment. We've got the usual host of dual lands over here, but you could also throw in some of the Kamigawa lands as well. I think I was just excited to be back and playing Arcane Bombardment once again. So let's get over and see some games with this deck on the rank standard ladder. I'll be with you for commentary, of course, but as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. All right, good old Eyes of Gitaxi is here in the opening hand. Let's see, we'll start off with Stormcarved Coast. Oh, good old Mono Red. You're never going away, are you? We get hit with a Monastery Swift Spear. And we're off to the races. Going with Adarkar Wastes here. Might want to start with Faithful Mending over Impulse. Opponent's got a Reinforced Ronin. That's going to be kind of annoying to deal with. No spell, though, for the Swift Spear, so we just dropped to 16. We can afford to spend a life then and do a little Faithful Mending, and then I can save the um, Impulse. We just get two lands here. Let's get rid of the Reef and one of these beaches. Seeing if we can find maybe a Sunfall or a Brotherhood. Hey, all right. I think we're safe, though. Let's go Eyes of Getaxius. We're at 17. Incubate helps to give us a potential blocker that's kind of hard to remove. Oh, an opponent's got a Storm Seeker. So they're going to get in with some hasty damage there, drop us to 13. A couple of options here. We could do Brotherhood's End or the Wanderer. Or Impulse Keep Up Incubate Token. Well, let's Brotherhood's End. Storm Stormseeker enables a lot of hasty shenanigans. Oh, okay. Opponent opts for Mechanized Warfare and Ronin again. So that hits us for three instead, and we drop to ten. Well, Wanderer might be able to deal with that. 
Hitting our land drops. That's good. Let's drop this planes. So we've got some options. Got mana up for Faithful Mending. Got mana up for flipping this Incubate token. Double Ronin from our opponent. Let's do Wandering Emperor then. We know we're going to take one hit from one of these. Let's exile the other. Okay, that's exiled. Try to gain a little bit of life here and balance out this attack. Drop into nine. One has got play with fire for the Emperor. And then Ronin goes back to the hand. So they've got something else that they're holding on to. Land number six for us. Opponent's got this mechanized warfare. Let's go for Sunder the Gateway. Make another incubate token. And that way we'll have enough mana left over. We can either impulse or faithful mending or actually activate both of these tokens as blockers. Really trying to discourage another attack from this Ronin. All right, there's the Ronin we know about. What else do you have? Swift Spear, that's hasty, but it needs a spell to really be a threat. And decides not to attack, okay. Let's impulse then. Seed Shark end and bombardment. Let's go bombardment. We do have a board wipe down in the graveyard here. And let's transform the 3-3 three, three incubate token. Can't be hit with a play with fire, so at least reduces the uh, things that our opponent could hit it with. Let's try to get Arcane Bombardment down. We've got Faithful Mending in the Grave to activate it if we don't draw any more spells. It's the one tricky thing about including this number of permanents in a deck like this. Okay, opponent digs out Play with Fire with the uh, Bloodthirsty Adversary. All right, so that hits the Incubate token. And they attack with everything, including another Ronin. Let's... All right, let's get rid of the Swift Spear. Our opponent's empty-handed. I think this makes sense. We've got a Wandering Emperor in hand and also a Faithful Mending. Rather than play this land, let's Mending. See what Bombardment gets us. All right. Uh, Sunder the Gateway, that's just going to make a token and flip one. We'll draw two, gain two, discard Island and Eyes of Getaxius. We do need some mana to play this Wandering Emperor as a little bit of a safety. <laughs> okay, well, good game then. All right, let's keep this. We're starting off with a nice Seed Shark hand. We already see Sunfall. Question is, what land to lead off with? Let's go Sundown Pass. Opponent decides that's a great idea. Let's get Mountain going, and... I mean, we might as well. Let's Sunder the Gateway, make an Incubate token, and pretend we just played a Grizzly Bears. Have a little something stocked in the graveyard for later. No turn two play from our red-white opponent. Slightly suspicious. We get in for two there. We'll follow up with Seed Shark. They've got something. The question is, what is it? Opponent with land number three into mechanized warfare. All right, well, we've got a decent board to start smacking our opponent with a little bit. Let's go ahead and hit them for four, bring them to 14. Drop our fourth land. Got this nice sunfall backup, but not many creatures from our opponent so far. 
They're going to lightning strike the shark. Yeah, I guess that's okay. And, no. Yeah, mechanized warfare. That's a big oops. Brings that up to four damage instead of three. We probably should have responded to that with an impulse beforehand, but... Oh, well, well, we'll find a bombardment now anyway. Getting up to land number six. We're going to attack with our token, bring them to 12. Mm, probably going to have to use this mending to guarantee land number six. Need to get this bombardment online. Kessig Flame Breather. Is this some kind of red and white burn deck? All right, they're going to play with fire our face. So that's basically a lightning bolt now. Kessig Flame Breather gets in its extra damage as well. And they get a free scry from the play with fire. So we're going to Faithful Mending then. Gain a little bit of that life back. We can afford to toss one of these bombardments. And one of these lands. All right, we draw Repel the Vile. Let's get Bombardment down. No attacks. So, yeah, this could be some kind of spell-based burn deck. Let's preserve the life total for just a hair longer. Ah, okay. The old Sulfim there. Definitely going to be extending the reach of some burn spells. Opponent goes to attacks. If we block, they can get rid of this. So we'll just take the two and drop to 15 here. Opponent with three cards left in hand. Well, now that the Dominus is down, I think it is Sunfall time, and we'll activate Bombardment with that. Opponent thinking it over here, probably hanging on to an instant. All right, we pick up Faithful Mending from the graveyard. Not the best, given our current hand. Yeah, well, let's discard the land and the seed shark. Want to keep this spell to keep the bombardment happening. Sunfall goes off. We will incubate three. And just keep some mana up. Flip this token over and keep attacking. Opponent with a Chandra dress to kill. Listen, pal, I'm with the gate watch, See what we do here. So might as well give up already. We're going to plus it and add one. Thanks to the Warfare, that hits us for two damage as well. And they've got the Thundering Raiju. Sure. Goes to attacks. That becomes a 4-4, four four, so we can't really profitably block that. Now let's flip over our 3-3 three three Incubate token. Draw for turn. Definitely repel the Vile to exile the Raiju. Trigger Bombardment here. Let's Sunder the Gateway and get rid of Mechanized Warfare. And Faithful Mending, see if we can't exchange this land for something else. Oh, okay, opponent's had enough. Good game. All right, keeping it going here. We finally got a nice Seed Shark in the opening hand. It's not the first one, but it's always nice to see him. Opponent leads off with a uh, hopeful initiate. And then immediately drops a forest. I love a new meta. Trying to figure that out. So they drop the uh, human friendly creature from Aftermath. Gives everybody ward and a little bit of power boost. I think what we're going to do is drop Deserted Beach. And hit that one with a play with fire. We will need to get rid of this initiate eventually, but there's nothing else to attack with it so far, so we can at least keep it small. Ah, opponent's got a Skrell for us, I see. We're going to take one from this attack, drop to 17. Opponent just passes it on back. Well, land number three, we're going to go straight for the Seed Shark. Should be a nice blocker. At least demands a little bit of... Removal or some other creativity from the opponent here. All right. Looks like Adeline, they're going to try to go around it. And they pass it on back. Land number four from us. Pass it on back to the opponent here. 
as they've got Brutal Cathar. Okay, well, we need to draw a land then for this Sunfall. We can get our Shark back and take care of this board. Initiate is going to train. Adeline is going to make a creature. So we will take a nice chunk of damage here. Well, we could Wanderer. No, I think we need to guarantee the land. Let's go Faithful Mending. Would have been nice to have the Wanderer on board before we wipe it. But let's discard Soul Partition and Brotherhood's End. Go straight for the Sunfall. Excellent. So we're going to incubate five on top of that and get our shark back. Not shark vac. We get our shark back. To follow up next turn, we've got Big Score and Wandering Emperor. All right. Opponent spends a Boseju. Getting rid of our incubate token doesn't want to be hit for five. And they've got a Malira to follow that up with. All right, well, we pick up a land here. We're at 10. Let's just pass it on back. All right, Coppercoat Vanguard once again brings Malira up to a 4-3. Opponent can attack with that. Let's big score in response. Seed chart gives us a nice large token. Couple of treasures off of the big scores. We get faithful mending. So what we're going to do here is try to flip over this incubator token and block Malira with that. At least try to get a trade. Turn big score into a quasi removal spell. Oh, they've got a ganjo for it. Discards a ganjo, but the block has been made, so at least we don't take any damage there. All right, we've got plenty of mana. Let's use this faithful mending that's hanging around in the graveyard. Seed shark happens. And let's get rid of these lands. Got, a, got enough to do most of what we want to do in this deck. We pick up Sunder the Gateway. Let's see, they can sacrifice Malira to make other things indestructible. Hmm. Yeah, thinking about this a little bit, it might be worth main phasing Wanderer here. Because we've got these two tokens that we can flip over at any time as like backup blockers. So if we exile Malira here, that leaves the Vanguard open to any future removal we might have. And it's not that tough on its own, so we might be able to bait him into something here. Let's get in with the Seed Shark. Attack for two. If they want to attack, they're going to have to have a plan for these tokens. Oh, are they going for it? Oh, yeah, they realized too late. Good game. All right, one more here. At least one more with this deck. You know, I don't know if it's just the decks I'm playing against or the fact that we're playing this uh, weird Incubate Bombardment deck, but the games are going a little quicker than usual. And I uh, wonder if that has anything to do with the bans. Fable, such a crucial part of so many decks in Standard. I'm wondering if that may have just increased the length of games in general since it provides so much value out of one card that your opponent has to get through. Anyway, back on task here. We're going to actually discard one of these Seed Sharks. My hope is to get them to overcommit a little bit to this board and wipe it away with Brotherhood's End. This looks like a sacrifice style list, which usually plays lots of little junky creatures that can get turned into a bigger advantage. All right. Um, does this matter? Well, if we block, they get a card. Oh, well. Should have blocked anyway. They're going to get a card anyway because it's going to die. Should have saved two life there. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. All right, well, with this opportunist on board, we need to clear it away now. 
can't have a nice card advantage for our opponent sticking around, especially in something that looks like a sacrifice list. So we'll attack for two here, get them down to 18. Opponent with a Bloodfell Caves and a Pass Back. We make land drop number five. All right, well, if they're not going to do anything, let's get in here. Some nice chunky damage with the shark and our associated token. Opponent's got the hasty Ourobrask. Not the flippable kind. Decides to not attack. All right, well, let's Faithful Mending. See if we can't guarantee ourselves a land. We do, but at what cost? Um, all right, let's discard a few things. Going to keep the Sunfall to deal with their creatures, but Chandra, I think we got to go Chandra first. Let's do four to both Urabrask and our opponent's base. We've still got a nice chunk of damage here, and we can threaten lethal next turn. That, all right, opponent couldn't stabilize, good game. Hmm, we've got Sunfall, we've got plenty of lands, let's go for it. I think Deserted Beach first. Okay. Plenty of untapped lands. Anyway, we'll go ahead and play this mountain. Options to Lightning Strike or Impulse. As opponent plays Giada Font of Hope. Well, we've got the removal. We're going to use it on that card. Bad things happen if you get to uh, stick around with old Giada there. Negate the draw for us. Opponent with land number three. Passes it back, so we're going to impulse at the end of their turn. Well, I'm going to take a land, I think, rather than a second Sunfall. Just to make sure, <laughs> of course, we draw another one. Just to make sure we can play Bombardment on time. Opponent with land number four. Is this an Angel's deck? Mm, could be. Let's negate Elsbeth here as they try for the Archangel version. Oh, that's a great draw. We'll go Battlefield Forge as our fifth land. And planned a big score away, probably of this mountain in our hand. Oof. Opponent's got a follow-up Giada. Anything else to go with that? No. Okay, that's good for us. Let's big score. We're going to discard Mountain. Would love a land here. Nope, just Seed Shark and an Impulse. Okay, okay, we draw the land. That's pretty good. So we can Bombardment and have two left for this Impulse. What do we got down here? Mm, a variety of stuff. Let's wait on the Impulse then. If the opponent's got another Planeswalker and we pull up that Negate, we'll actually have a target for it. So let's kind of... Yep, let's do it. Impulse in response to this Elsbeth Resplendent that they're playing. Bombardment gets us a second Impulse. Lots of card selection. Let's go with Sunder the Gateway for one. And Faithful Mending for two. Keep those spells rolling. See what our opponent can find with this Elsbeth. So I imagine they'll go looking at the top. Yes, so take a look at the top seven, something three or less. Ooh, just a planes with a shield counter on it. We pick up another Sunder the Gateway. Let's, let's draw with Faithful Mending here. All right, we get Lightning Strike. Let's point that at Elsbeth. We're gonna do another Impulse and I'll take a play with Fire. That's pretty great. We draw two here, get a Brotherhood's End and a land. Let's discard one Sunder and this land. And we'll pass it on back. Well, I suppose we could have Seed Sharked there. 
Ah, but opponent's got Sanctuary Warden for us, so actually that might not have worked out. Um, Sanctuary Warden actually going to be a great target for this Sunfall. Totally ignores the shield counters on our opponent's stuff. So we get hit for two from Giada here. Let's point this play with fire at our opponent's face if we know we're going to be board wiping. Pair that, that with a lightning strike, and we'll do these two impulses, see what else we want. Wandering Emperor, great for helping to finish off a game, and <laughs> our selection of the finest lands from the top of our deck. All right, well, that's five damage to the opponent's base. We're going to leave Soul Partition on top. Draw that for turn. Yeah, let's go ahead and Sunfall here. We get Sunder the Gateway. I suppose that doesn't matter. That's going to go away anyway with the Sunfall, but that's all right. We're going to Impulse. We're going to point the Lightning Strike at our opponent. And Impulse number two. We'll take a big score. Hit the opponent for three, dropping them to 12. Grab another lightning strike. Looks like we are on the burn train for finishing this game. And at least we get to recycle the incubate token we just made into that sunfall total. Okay, opponent's got an Elsbeth Resplendent to follow up. Let's see if they decide to pull something off the top here. They do. Going to minus Elsbeth. I've made plenty of connections. Ah, Inspiring Overseer. It's going to draw them a card, gain some life. Comes with a free shield token. Well, let's keep going for the opponent's face here. Let's try to hit them with a lightning strike, activating bombardment. Looks like they may have something to do in that hand, but they're not showing it. All right. Let's see here. Sunfall. To get rid of the Overseer, we're going to Impulse. Take a look at the top. We're going to Lightning Strike. Elsbeth, I believe. And we'll just leave this other Sunder behind. Although I'm sure... Yeah, we probably, we probably could have done that anyway. Ooh, Angelic Intervention. Well, then let's grab a play with fire with this impulse. Ooh, and a Chandra. Chandra loves the burn plan. Okay, we've dropped our opponent to 10. Their Elsbeth is still around, but we may actually have enough burn between Chandra and these spells under bombardment to finish them off. So let's get Chandra down. Actually, let's add mana with Chandra. And that way we'll have mana left to... Um, Oh, <laughs> all right. Opponent sees it coming. Good game. <laughs>